Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past with this week's What Sold video. This week we have items all over the place. We have two different eBay accounts, Poshmark, and a local selling source that I'm going to include. So first up, we have the... Uh, this was in a haul video not too terribly long ago, two or three haul videos ago. This is a Bogan Friday FR2000 personal office receptionist assistant thing, <laughs> electronic. This is brand new. Uh, without the box, open box. Uh, yeah, you could tell it's brand new just by the condition. It still had the hardware sealed and open in it. Brand new sealed battery inside. Everything looked perfect. Model number, there's the model number. And the little bit of the box that was left. And it also had this expansion memory module included with it, which helped a lot. Now I only had $5 into this. Uh, no good comps when I... Uh, bought it or listed it but uh took a shot at 75 dollars with 875 shipping and that's what it sold for a full asking of 75 dollars and actually 13 dollars and 40 cents shipping so a total of 88 dollars and 40 cents is really good and fast flip another item that i didn't have for too long uh sourced this just a few weeks ago this lark rise to candleford complete collection dvd set from 2011 14 discs only paid a couple of dollars for this just like i do all my dvd stuff and uh, it seems like uh, more often than not this bbc uh, series stuff does way better than the american tv series so when i find them i picked them up especially like this one brand new in the box had this one listed listed for 59 dollars plus shipping and that's what it sold for 59 dollars plus nine dollars and 45 cents shipping Really good profit margin on that one. Next up, the Avery Durable Slant Easy Insert. Three ring binders. There's uh, two of them in this box. Brand new. In an open box. <clears throat> Five inch capacity. And I had these for a really long time. I kept dropping the price, dropping the price. I only had like a dollar into these though. Because I got them at the Goodwill Outlet. Actually in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, we was out there visiting family. And we hit the goodwill outlet when we're out there and this is one of the items i got had this one listed for uh 25 dollars plus shipping and that's what it sold for uh full basking of 25 dollars but the shipping on this was huge this is why a good reason to do calculated shipping because someone in hawaii bought this and shipping on it was 27 dollars and 80 cents so somebody was all in on this for over 50 bucks but i was happy to send it to them and get it out of my storage Next up, the Eddie Bauer Goose Down 650 Fill Vest. This was a brown. Uh, this was in a haul video just a couple weeks ago as well. A lot of quick flips recently. I uh, paid just $5 for this one. This was in really good condition. Uh, goose Down, people love the Goose Down stuff. Had the fill power on the neck there. Just a really, really nice vest. Uh, a little puffy vest, and it paid $5 for it, and had it listed for $40 plus shipping, and that's what it sold for. Full asking $40 plus $8.30 shipping. So almost 50 bucks all in. Next up, the North Face Summit Series Fathom Jacket Windstopper, brand new with the tags. Uh, uh, paid $60 for this one because this was brand new, North Face. Uh, got this at my normal thrift store. This has already been bought once and returned once and relisted it for a really high price, uh, fully expecting to take an offer on it, and it sold again, uh, which I did take an offer, a really pretty low offer, but going into the summer, you know, I figured what the heck, I still made a profit on it. This uh, had it listed for over 300 which was totally unrealistic, but took an offer of $185 plus $11.10 shipping, so almost $200 all in. So even with the return before, all in all, still made a profit of probably about 60 bucks. So not too bad. Not as good as I'd hoped, but move it on and go to the next item. Which is these awesome things. These were just in our last haul video, if you or the, the haul video before last, two weeks ago. These Pyrex bean pots. I had uh, we bought three of these for all three of them for about seven bucks. And in my haul video, I said, these are something special. And I tried to hammer that point home. Uh, but, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Um, when I went to list these, I <clears throat> the, there was some similar stuff. But the comps probably should have been $75 or so. But, you know, I was like, these are super special. 
I'm going to list these really high, but put best offer on them. <clears throat> so I listed these for $150 each. I did a quantity of three. They were all exactly the same, the exact same condition, uh, which was really good. And these were from 1936, 37. They only made these for two years. And uh, like I said, I listed a quantity of three and someone sent me an offer for two of them and they wanted two of them for basically $175 for the pair of, for two of them. And I said, sure, sold. So that's what we got, $175 for two of them plus $16.15 shipping for an all-in total of $186.15 for two of them. So I sold two of them, still have the third one, and in super profit already. So these were really nice glass fine. Really hard to find. I don't like using the word rare in titles. And when I do, it's rare. So Next up, we have the White Mountain 6-Quart Hand Crank Ice Cream Freezer. This is the old-style wood bucket hand crank. Uh, these are pretty hard to find in good condition. This one was in okay condition, not super great. The problem with these is that you use salt, not in the ice cream, but around the outside part to cool the cream inside the canister here. And see right there at the bottom, that's what the salt does if you don't clean it very well. This was not eaten through. It was still solid on the inside, as you can see right there. But, you know, I disclosed that condition and everything. Had this, we only paid uh, $7.50 for this. And we had this listed for $112.48 plus shipping. And we took a best offer of $100 plus $31.05 shipping for an all-in total of $131.05. So yeah, that was a really good sale. It took a few months to sell, but we don't mind with that kind of profit. Next up, we have the Harley Davidson women's white vest. Uh, the women's Harley stuff has been pretty tough for me to sell. Uh, I've started passing on most of it, but we only had about $5 into this one, maybe $7.50. Had it listed for $32.80, had 25% off sale, but I still had best offers on and someone offered $20 plus shipping. I went ahead and took it just to move it on. Uh, still in the profit, just not great profit, probably about 10 bucks profit on this. Uh, $20 plus $9.30 shipping for a total of $29.30. And last up on this account is the Crate and Barrel Six Party Creme Brulee Bowls. This is brand new in the box. I gave $5 for these and had these listed initially for 50 bucks. Did a 25% off sale uh, at $37.48. And that's what they sold for, $37.48 plus $22.05 shipping. These were shipped to Arizona. Coast-to-coast uh, -coast shipping is just super costly. But that was an all-in total of $59.53 for the uh, Crate and Barrel Creme Brulee Bowls. So it was a really nice sale. Okay, let me go over here. Next up, we have the uh, Bugs Bunny rides again mug with uh, Yosemite Sam you know I gave our typical 50 75 cents for this and had this had it listed for 17.99 plus shipping and that's what it sold for full asking 17.99 plus 785 shipping next up a Laguna Beach the complete first season DVD set new and sealed I gave our typical dollar or two for this and uh, had it listed for $9.99 plus $5.19 media mail shipping. And that's what it sold for. Full asking $9.99 plus shipping. And next up, a couple items on Poshmark. We had this Mooka 3X hoodie sweatshirt. And this was brand new with the tags. I had this listed, I think, for $40 or $50. And uh, somebody offered $25 for it. And I had this for so long, I took it. And you can see the Poshmark fee there. My earnings, 20 bucks. And uh, the good thing about Poshmark is the label is provided. So that $20 is my $20. And I had five bucks into this, so my profit is $15. Next up, the Patagonia Fleece Heavy Duty Men's Large. This was a heavy duty. Patagonia stuff just does super well for me. Had this listed for a, a little bit more than that $50. I can't remember exactly, probably 75 bucks or so. Somebody made an offer of $50 and I accepted. And you can see the $10 Poshmark fee, the 20%, though my earnings of $40. And I had about $7.50 into this. So my profit is about, you know, $32.50 or so on the Posh on the Patagonia. So not too bad. Next up is my local source. 
Uh, this was all my sales from March that I sold. Um, basically, I ship stuff back to my brother-in-law in Missouri, and he puts it in the store uh, for me to sell. And this is just stuff that's everyday stuff. I mean, some DVDs, some other stuff. We'll go through the list real quick. I had a vintage lithograph picture. Literally, most of this stuff I have like a dollar or two in. So just keep that in mind as we're going through. A lithograph picture sold for $16. And that 10% is the shop's cut. That's what I give my brother-in-law for selling this stuff for me, which is low. But, you know, he's doing me a favor because I used to do that for him. <laughs> uh, Kirby video game that I had just a buck into sold for $20. So that was really nice. I have a wall lamp, one of those that you attach to the wall. It sold for 6 bucks. A blood pressure kit for $18.50. Man, that was awesome. I think I had 50 cents into that. A CD, yes, CDs still do sell for five dollars. Uh, another light, the pendulum light, that sold for five bucks. A life is good bag. This one was in pretty rough condition, right? I sold it online. Life is good is it sells pretty well online, but uh, this one had some condition issues, but it still sold for ten bucks. A uh, board game, I'm sure they meant. Uh, sometimes the employees there get busy because they manually enter all this stuff when it sells that's why it's really truncated and just a general description but a board game uh sold for seven dollars nypd blue season one dvd set brand new sold for fifteen dollars that's more than i could have got for it online that's why i sent it there a couple of patterns actually five total you see the four here and the one here so five patterns total for nine dollars see the columns over here for the totals and we have a glass mixer part for eight dollars an apple canister for five dollars uh, some wedding arches i don't even remember what those were but i'm sure i had next to nothing in them that sold for five dollars three piece uh they said stacking bowls but i'm sure they meant nesting bowls um, these i think were really small tiny bowls that's why they're only four bucks you know Obviously not a set of Pyrex nesting bowls. Another pattern that sold for $10. Ooh, nice money. A Tupperware dish that sold for $3.99. A wood and glass frame that sold for $18. Nice. An aggravation game that sold for $4. That's what, you know, I get <clears throat> a lot of board games and stuff, but they're just not worth selling online. So send them here to the local source and selling, you know, $4 is better than no dollars. A book that sold for $2.99 and a photo holder that sold for $2. So all in we sold, let me see here, 27 items. You see that over here for a net, a gross sales of $182.68. Uh, but we netted $164.42 off of just stuff. <laughs> Literally just stuff, you know, and it was 27 items. I guarantee I didn't have it about 20 bucks into all that stuff and to get 164 back pretty good so that's it guys that's my what sold on let me see two ebay accounts poshmark and my local sales spot so uh thanks guys for watching appreciate it thanks to you thank you to all the old subscribers new subscribers and everyone in between uh big thanks to our patrons uh please remember to register for our auction that's coming up on april 28th at 7 p.m eastern Register at newfoundpass.com. There's going to be a lot of good stuff for sale. And I hope, you, I hope to see you there. And uh, please register soon. So thanks, guys. And we'll see you next time.